Hello everybody. As we continue our series looking in the book of James, looking through the book of James, let me read to you James 1 verses 9 and 10. Let the lowly brother boast in his exaltation and the rich in his humiliation, because like a flower of the grass, he will pass away. I think those two verses are wonderful. Um, They're short, but in those verses is contained deep, wonderful truth. So the first thing James says is let the lowly brother um, boast in his exaltation. So the lowly brother is a Christian who, from a worldly perspective, has, has come from a lower background, is a less wealthy Christian, and perhaps in in outside of the church is sneered upon for their lowly, humble background. But that person is to boast, is to rejoice in their exaltation. In other words, James reminds the lowly brothers that they have been raised up and seated with Christ in the heavenlies, that they are a son or daughter of the heavenly father, of God himself, and therefore they have an inheritance with all the saints, which is glorious and wonderful. You know, I think if if you are from a a humble background or a lower background, the temptation is to forget the great status to which God has given you and exalted you. You can you can feel weak and powerless and and a bit rubbish about yourself. And James says, no, boast in your exaltation. God has loved you with an everlasting love. And so he's raised you up. He's exalted you up. He has seated you in the heavenly places. So so if this morning you're feeling like a lowly brother, um, if this morning you are from a more humble background than some of the other people in the church, I would encourage you to remember how much honour God has exalted you with. He has blessed you. He's called you his son or daughter. He has loved you and he has given you an eternal inheritance that will never perish, that will never fade, which is richer than all the riches on the earth right now because your inheritance includes God himself. It's an eternal inheritance that will never ever perish or fade. Boast. Tell others about the glorious inheritance you have received from God. Now, the second thing James says is let the rich boast in his humiliation, because like a flower of the grass, he will pass away. So let the poor, let the lowly brother boast that they have been exalted, but let the rich boast in their humiliation. You know, the gospel, the good news of Christianity, both both exalts and humiliates. What what in the way the gospel humiliates is that it reveals to the rich person that their riches, that their wealth, that their worldly success will do nothing for them in eternity. They will not be richer in eternity because they're richer here on earth. They, They may not even make eternity because riches distract us from faith in Jesus Christ. And so... There are people in our church who are wealthy. There are people in the church who are wealthy, who have done well for themselves here on earth or have come from a richer background, wealthier background. They're not to, they're not to focus so much on their exaltation. Rather, they're to boast in their humiliation, the way God has reminded them of their sin, of their inability to save themselves, of of the way that they've been humbled by the gospel. And yet in that humiliation, in that being brought low, they found Jesus Christ as Lord and Saviour. You know, you can only receive Christ if you're humble enough to receive him. There are some people who, who feel like they don't need God. They don't need Jesus because they're doing well right now. And so God, in his wisdom, humiliates the rich, brings them low in order they might realise their need for a saviour. And so they trust in Christ. And from that moment, they receive all the riches that the lowly person has received as well in trusting in Christ. So the lowly person should rejoice and boast in the way God has lifted them up. And the rich person should boast in the way they've been humbled, the way they've been brought down low, because in their lowest place, 
That's where they believe and trusted in Jesus and receive the true riches of God. Now, the reason that the lowly can boast in their exaltation and the rich should boast in their humiliation is because in God's kingdom, all are equal. In fact, there's a really kind of scary reminder here um, of the temporariness of earthly riches, the temporariness of our um, our life here on earth, where it says, because like a flower of the grass, he will pass away. You know, if you, if you get wild flowers on your lawn or you get, or there's a park nearby and you, you see the wild flowers, they are here today and gone very, very fast. And the truth is that all humans, whether they're rich or they're poor, have a short life here on earth. Like the flower of the grass, they will one day pass away. And so our true riches are not here on earth, but are in eternity. And so if you're rich here on earth, be humbled. Your riches will pass away. You will pass away and your riches in heaven will not have anything to do with how rich you are here on earth. Your riches in heaven will all be based on having faith in Jesus Christ. And if you're a lowly person, will boast in, the ex- in your exaltation. Though you are poor now, you will have riches in heaven because of your faith in Jesus Christ. That's the commandment, that's the encouragement, that's the challenge of James 1 verses 9 and 10. Lord, I pray you would humble the rich that they might trust in Christ. And Lord, I pray you remind all those who are poor right now of their exaltation in Christ. May they remember that they are sons and daughters of the living God. And in heaven, not here on earth with this temporary passing away like a wildflower, but in heaven, all Christians have a glorious, rich, wonderful inheritance in Jesus Christ. I thank you for this. In Jesus' name. Amen.